friends, it's Tina from the Scrap and Rabbit blog, and it is another release week for Jaded Blossom, and I wanted to come on today and share with you what we're revealing for day one. For First of all, we have this awesome new coffee slider die, and it is a fantastic die. I can't wait to show you uh, the projects that I made with that. And then the stamp set that we're featuring today is a lot of comfort and joy. And it's so cute. You get this little reindeer cup and it says the holidays are better buzzed. Wishing you a latte comfort and joy. Copy makes Christmas better. Santa, I can explain. There was only decaf. <clears throat> Wishing you good tidings of coffee and joy. Merry and brood. Hope your holiday is steeped with happiness. And a latte winter wishes. And you get two sizes of this adorable little reindeer. So, so super cute. So as you can see, there's a little theme here going with the coffee and with Christmas. So for this uh, new die, there's four pieces to the die. And I cut out all the pieces so I could show you how to put it all together. And there's a couple ways, or more than a couple ways, that you can use this. But you get this piece right here, which is really close to a size of an A2 card. So... Let me see if I can get my ruler out here. So that means in the height, it's almost just slightly under five and a half inches tall. And then in the width, you're going to get the four and a quarter. So this will fit into an A2 sized envelope if you were going to package it that way. Then you get the layer that makes the little pocket. You get the layer here that makes the top. And then, of course, the, the layer that makes the sleeve. So let me show you first what I made, and then I'll show you how to put everything together. So I made a couple projects, and the first one is just how it's meant to be, the slider. So you get this nice little pouch with the cup piece here with the lid that slides out, and then you can add your little gift card if you want to. That's a perfect, perfect little um, gift card holder. And so I think that this one turned out super, super cute. For this particular one, I will show you the dies that I used. For the little snowman, I used the Jaded Blossom Snowman dies, which are so cute. And I had it tucked away with my Christmas stuff, and so I was happy to pull it out and put together this adorable little snowman. How cute is he? And of course I used the sentiment, a latte winter wishes from the stamp set. And I also embossed it, giving it a nice little dimensional look there. And the little snowflakes are from the Jaded Blossom winter banner dies. And so I used just the two layers there. And then of course I added some bling, which I think gave it the nice, nice little touch there. And then like I said, it pulls out and for this, little gift card um, cut out. I used the scallop slider and topper die, this piece right here, which is very versatile. You can use this, you can slip a candy cane through there, you can slip a pencil through there, or you can slip a gift card through there. There is also another Jaded Blossom die called the gift card die, which will also fit perfectly on here. And as you can see, it adds stitching in the little cutouts. So you could also use this die as well if you wanted to use it for a gift card and it fits right on there just like that <clears throat> so um, I've been a little under the weather I guess I should say a lot of under the weather so I'm kind of playing catch up and that's why my voice sounds kind of funny today but so that is how you can use this little um, coffee slider die now for my second project, I did it a little bit different. I made it into a card. And again, I added the little slots for the gift card. So there's two, there's, there's all so many options for this cutout. And for this uh, snowflake, I used, let me see if I have those. I thought I had them here. Oh, Maui's chiming in telling me to get it together. <laughs> I used the winter dies here and I cut out these two layers to make the little snowflake and then I added some red bling and I think that it turned out really cute and I embossed that wishing you good tidings of coffee and joy. And then for this one, I trimmed the little piece here 
that uh, gives you the tab because I wanted to attach it. So here I cut this piece out and then all I did was I trimmed it right there. And then I did two of them because I thought I could write a little message in there. I could stamp something in there as well if I wasn't gonna if I was gonna use it as a gift card holder. So that is a second way that you can use this die. So let me go ahead and share with you all the pieces when you cut them out. So you're going to get this piece here, and this is what it looks like cut out. And um, this is what it looks like cut out with the little gift card inserts. That was the second die there that I used from the set, that other set. And then you have a lid piece. So that goes on there like this. And if you wanted to do multiple colors, you could. And then you have the little sleeve. And then you have the pouch layer. And I used some embossed uh, cardstock for that. So for this, all you're gonna do is just fold down the little edges there to glue it together to make an envelope. You can very easily just use some sticky tape, double-sided sticky tape for that. And then since this is an embossed uh, layer and it's not gonna fold perfectly flat, I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue. And if I can find my glue, I'm getting close to empty on this. You're just gonna wanna add a little bit of glue here to the edges. I'm almost out. I have to buy some more glue. And I personally, if I'm doing anything that neat, ha is gonna have any resistance, I personally like to use the wet glue because I find that with the double-sided sticky tape, it does not always last. It'll pull off eventually, or if somebody tugs it just a little bit too much, then it will tug off. And I like this glue because you have a little bit of time to play with it and move it around if you don't lay it straight. And since I'm kind of doing this at an angle, it's hard for me to see if it's lined up. But you could just lay it flat like this and then push down, and then it'll seal real nice. <clears throat> but yeah, anytime you don't have a perfectly flat edge, sometimes the double sticky tape won't work as well. And then you're just gonna add a little bit of glue to the inside flaps as well. And those are gonna get tucked in to make that little envelope. And just hold it in place when you use the wet glue. This, this glue works great if you just hold it there for a couple seconds just to let those bonds form and it will not come apart. I mean, it's really, it lasts a long time. And then for the last one, you'll have this piece right here. And I like to get my glue close to the edge so that you don't have a little, you don't have it popping up, but you don't want to put too much that it oozes. And then so there you go. So that is how easy it is to do the little, little pouch. And like I said, you could use some double-sided tape if you wanted. I just know that since I want it to be sturdy, I'm going to use that wet glue. So there you have it right there. You have your little pouch. Isn't that cute? And then to make the sleeve, it's so super easy. Again, you just have two little flaps right here. And then they're just going to glue together like this. And it's gonna make a little, um, it's gonna make the little, oh my goodness, what is that piece called on your coffee cup? The little sleeve, <laughs> that's what it is. The little coffee sleeve. So, you just fold it over like this, and then line it up to where it's straight on both sides, and then do this last piece here. Uh, <clears throat> so, there you have it. And...
just holding it together so that it dries. And then now you have your little sleeve. And so you have your little pouch, you have your little sleeve, and then you can attach it. For my snowman one, I added some adhesive in there so this will not pull off. But for if you're making a card, which I didn't show you this. So to do this, all you have to do is uh, cut out an A2 size card base. <clears throat> and then you're going to get this piece right here, this die. And when you go to cut it, so let me see if I have something here that I can show you. So let's say this is my A2 size card. And so, of course, it would be double layered. So you're going to want it to wear the fold is up here at the top. And then when you go to put it through your die cutting machine, you're going to do it so that it's lined up where this folded edge, which this would be your folded edge, is lined up so that the cut edge is right across the top. See that? And then you'll run it through your um, die cutting machine. Of course, it would be bigger. This, this fits on an A2 size card. This is smaller than A2 size. So like that, and then you would get this piece that looks like this. So the top part is the fold that I left outside of the cutting edge like that. You can see that. And then all you got to do is add your layers. And so now that you have a sleeve, and if you wanted to add the gift card in there, you could just do it like this. And so to open the card, they would pull the sleeve out and then they could fold it open. Or you could do it like I did here, where I trimmed off the little tabs to do a single layer and then I added one to the top and to the bottom. So this could get added like this if you wanted it to. Okay, so there is another option. <clears throat> and that's all you do. So you have your insert, so you would just glue this topper piece on there, and then you have your little slider, just like that. So there you go. So there are some ideas for how you can use this die. And I hope that you can check in the rest of the week for some of the other projects that the design team is sharing. We have a fabulous, uh, fabulous stamps to share. I'm really excited about this release. And those are my projects. I'm sorry that I'm a little under the weather today if I sound a little stuffy and funny, you guys. But I want to thank you so much for stopping in and watching my video. I hope you have a fantastic day. And until next time, everybody, happy crafting. Bye-bye.